Good morning, Mark Striegel here along with Pearl the dog. We're getting ready to go on a walk here in a dreary south, uh, no, west orange. Got the coffee. Dunkin' Donuts! Sugar-free coconut mixed in there. Black. I've been a grouch all morning because I haven't had my, my freaking coffee. Uh, I'm on my second dog walk. I, I walked the older dog earlier in the day. Now it's time for the youngin. We go two miles. Uh, anyways... Aerosmith hit the, uh, the I don't know where the residency is. I don't, it's in Las Vegas. I'm not sure what hotel it's at, though. Is it at the Hard Rock? I'm not sure. Anyways, they started their residency yesterday. The set list was posted. And I thought it was a good set list. Pretty standard, you know. Um, I like seeing Hangman Jury in there. That was kind of the one for me that was like, oh, wow, that would have been cool to, to see them play that. Uh, everything else was... Pretty much all the songs, the the average, more mainstream Aerosmith consumer would want. And uh, I, I hope they start mixing up the songs. And that's what Def Leppard did. And, you know, I don't, I don't think Kiss did that that much. I, I flew out for the Kiss residency, which, quite frankly, was a lot cheaper than the Aerosmith, Aerosmith residency. Um, and But let's first talk about ticket prices. They're insane, right? I mean, for I, I, Emily and I couldn't afford to go to Las Vegas to see the Aerosmith thing. I looked into it. I was going to do it. But no, we, we just can't do that. It's too expensive. And does that bum me out? Meh, a little bit. Because I would have liked to... I, I want to see Aerosmith one more time. And I thought the Vegas, Vegas residency would have been a fun place to do that. But I can't afford it. Does that mean that Aerosmith, because I uh, can't afford something, does that mean... I should get online and bitch and moan that Aerosmith should be charging less for their tickets? No. Listen, it's a capitalist society. These bands don't make money off the music anymore. I know that people are like, well, they're so rich already. Yeah, but listen, they're Aerosmith. They fly on private jets. They have pools to heat. They have different houses to uh, maintain. So uh, listen, if they can charge it, so be it. I mean, if you go to sell your car... And you have four people who want to buy the car. Are you going to sell it to the guy who's offering you the least? No. You go with the person who's going to give you the most money. And I, I, listen, I have no problem with these $1,000 meet and greets and sky high tickets. I, I've, I splurge for some of them when I can. But I can't always do it. And the Aerosmith thing was just too high for me. But for the fans that can, you know, hats off to you. And, and you're supporting... A band that you love and they're delivering a product hopefully it's worth the money and if it's not you won't pay for it the next time and the prices will come down it's a capitalist society that's how everything works in this society and if you don't like it move move to a communist country or something because that's how things work here or a socialist country you know and 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 with the bands that's what they got to do that's it's a new business model we don't buy albums like we used to or at least i mean i still buy some but I, I don't buy them like i did 20 years ago when i used to go into the virgin mega store in Times square and like ring up a hundred dollars you know every, every tuesday when the new releases came out maybe not every tuesday but you know so listen they got it they it's a new business model and unfortunately that means that not all of us are going to get to all the shows that we would like to you know and but but uh i say aerosmith Charge as much as you want for the tickets. Is if you can get the money, charge it. I, I hope you do throw in some uh, some deep cuts though as, as the uh, as the residency goes on. And I want to see Def Leppard because they basically promised to throw in deep deep cuts at their at their next residency. Because every time you see Def Leppard in concert, which I do quite frequently, it's always great. But it's always pretty much the big songs that you'd expect. And I'm a fan of, of a lot of the off-the-beaten-path uh, Def Leppard tracks. So there you go. As always, I'm like, I'm going to keep these all these all these videos to under four minutes. That never happens. Follow me on Twitter, at Talking Metal or at Striegel, S-T-R-I-G-L. Visit TalkingRock.net and go to the Support tab. Figure out how you want to support me. PayPal, Patreon, use our Amazon links to go make a purchase on Amazon. All that works. Thanks, guys.